Okay, so some typical tactics that we recommend at Martin Engineering to protect workers. I want to real quick give you some highlights of guarding. Um, so guarding can be really effective at protecting workers, but there's a couple of things here with guarding that we want to make sure that we recommend to you. We want to make sure that guards don't exceed 50 pounds. Guards shouldn't have sharp edges. And we want to make sure that any hinges on any guards uh, don't create a pinch point. A couple other recommendations on guards. You might want to jot this acronym down. This is really important, this acronym AUTO. So we want to make sure that guards um, are installed and maintained in a way that a worker could not reach around, under, through, or over the guard. Uh, the guard needs to be a proper distance from the hazard depending on the size of the opening. So here you see a worker uh, checking the distance the hazard is from the opening and that is dependent on how big of the uh, how big the opening in the guard is. Let me show you another photo here that makes a little more sense of this. Okay, this guard Excellent. Small openings and a worker can't reach through those openings to get to the hazard. Guard number two, we'll call it, this is guard one. Guard number two, no way is that acceptable. So yeah, that, can, that tail pulley, it is guarded, but it's way too big of an opening for how, how close it is <coughs> to the rotating piece of equipment. Guards should require a tool to remove. So this isn't a law. This is not a law with MSHA as of yet, uh, but MSHA does not require the, a tool to be used to remove the guard. OSHA does. Um, so just kind of understand the differences there. It's best, certainly best practice for everybody. And there's a couple of different fasteners out there that are acceptable. You can run a nut uh, or a bolt with a nut on it. Uh, you see a lot of these um, like kind of adjustable clamps. Um, that clamp usually has a slot through it like this. And that slot, you could run a, a, a bolt through it right there. Uh, but you can see in this diagram, they've actually put a lock on it. And then you see a lot of these types of uh, fasteners as well with spring, spring clamps. Same thing on this. This, we would recommend that you run either a lock or a, a bolt and a nut fastened down onto it to make sure that uh, you satisfy that if you're governed by MSHA. Uh, and then finally, guards must stand out in color. Now they don't have to be yellow. A lot of guards are, um, but they don't have to be high visibility. Um, it's perfectly acceptable to have them painted any color that is not the color of the equipment that it's guarding. So they just need to stand out in color.